All right, Shalom, Akyam, this is a high spirit way in Judah of the Jim S. Mississippi camp. Giving our honor and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakhan, Kodash. I also want to give double honors to our apostles, the great millstone, Ruel, and peace and blessings to the house of David, the elect. All right. And what I want to go into today is, you know, us not being afraid of death because we know what death death is. And there's an acronym um, in the world that the spell from fear. All right. And as you know, fear is spelled F-E-A-R. And fear is false evidence appearing real. And the thing that creates fear is ignorance. All right. And Esau pushed a mindset to fear leaving this physical plane. All right. But according to the scriptures, there is no such thing as death because you are not your body. You are your spirit within your body. All right. Your body is a house for your spirit. It's an earth house. All right. It's an earth suit. All right. You go out of space, you wear a space suit. You go in the water, you wear a, a jumpsuit or a swimsuit. All right. But you have your spirit uh, has to dwell on earth in the earth suit. All right. So this is a uh, second Corinthians five and one. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were, of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of the most high and the house not made with hands eternal in the heavens. So what does that mean? All right, let's go into it again. It says, for we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, meaning that if you were to so-called die or your, your body is put to death, so to speak, all right? <clears throat> your body reaches an expiration date, okay? That's this earth, this, this, this tabernacle being dissolved, this earthly suit. That's why you call Adam the son of Adam or the son of man. Adam means what? From the ground. What is the ground a part of? The earth. Aratazah. Okay? For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of the Mosai. And the house not made with hands. What does it mean, a building of the Mosai? The building that's of the Mosai is the spirit. Because it says in the scriptures what? Thy sin is forth thy spirit, they are created. So all of our spirits derive from the ultimate of spirit. Supreme Spirit, that source, which is Yahweh. All right, He to be, He is. All right, that's that's um that's the building of the Most High, and the house not made with hands. All right, and what does it mean made with hands? Our spirit wasn't made with hands because nobody has sex to create us. So your dad plowed your mom. All right, to to, to bring you to this earth, to this physical plane. Okay. And you were swimming in him, and he and you were incubated in your mom. All right, and that's what it means: a a, a, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. Uh, because the 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 house for your spirit is the is the is is, is heaven. It's the spirit world. Okay, and the proof the proof on that is Ecclesiastes twelve and uh, seven. It says, "Then shall the dust return to the earth." All right, going back to 2 Corinthians 5, where it says, if this earthly uh, tabernacle were dissolved, that's the dust returning into the earth. All right, in, is a, in the term of uh, decomposition or de decomposing, all right, to decompose, all right? Then, uh, verse 7, then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return to Yahweh who gave it, all right? So that's what it means to quote unquote die. All right. Because you never really die. You just transfer. You transfer from one plane to another. You transfer from the spirit of the physical plane, the so-called third dimension, into the fourth plane, the spiritual world, the spiritual dimension. And the reason why I'm saying that is to say we're coming into a time. All right. That we're going to um, some of us are going to be martyrs. All right, we're going to get thrown into those prison camps. Some of us are going to be tortured for the name and the witness of Yahweh Hashem Shai. And a lot of us, some of us are going to go through that guillotine. All right. And it's not something that we wish to happen, but it's written. OK. But the reason why the Most High would allow that to happen, because you got to ask yourself, why would the Most High put his men through that? All right. Because that's an instant transfer from the physical plane to the spiritual plane. And instead of coming back in the third or the fourth generation, all right, into the kingdom, 
You're going directly into the chariots, waiting on the destruction of America and the uh, salvation of the rest of your brothers to get everlasting uh, rulership, man. Okay? So, that's, that's pretty much the point, you know? You have to understand, when you, to understand, all right, to understand, all right, means that you, you see clearly, all right? You see clearly, you literally stand under, you, you have a, a sure foundation of what something means, all right? And you will understand once you, once you gather understanding that there is no such thing as death, man, all right? So from there, I'm going to get uh, Revelations 2 and 10. It says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that you may be tried. And you shall have tribulation in ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. All right? It said, Be thou faithful unto death, man. All right? Because if we're faithful unto death, that crown of life is everlasting joy and rulership in the kingdom, man. Okay? It's going to be everlasting joy in the kingdom. And the most high created our lives to be so bitter in Babylon that you headed your lives to the death, man. Meaning that, so, hey, you just want to get up out of here, man. You hate this shit, man. All right? That's why it says, let me see if I can get it real quick. That's why it says what it says in the book of Sirach about death. I think it's the the, the, 30, uh, the, the 41st chapter. Yeah. That's why the most I put deprivations in your in your face, man. Because deprivations create bitterness in your soul. All right, Sirach 41 and 1. Oh, death, how bitter is the rem remembrance of thee to a man that liveth at rest in his possessions unto the man that have nothing to vex him. And that have prosperity in all things, yea, unto him that is yet able to receive meat. O death, acceptable is thy sentence unto, unto the needy, and unto him whose strength felleth, that is now in the last age, and is vexed with all things, to him that despaireth and have lost patience. Fear not the sentence of death, remember them that have been before thee, and that come after thee, for this is the sentence of Yahweh over all flesh. All right? But Esau builds fear around death because he creates mystery with death. He, he, he pushed this storyline that death is, is Z. It's the last thing. It's the last phase of humankind is that he dies and you go into the dirt. And that's where you go back to wisdom of Solomon in the second chapter. And you have a YOLO mentality because you don't think that once you once you die in this physical plane, that your spirit goes back to the father and gets judged, man. That's why earth is called the place of judgment, man. But Esau creates the fear around death because you think that death is the end. No, you come back in this physical plane called earth uh, an infinite number of times, man. The, every third and fourth generation, you come back in this physical plane. All right. But the point is, uh, you shouldn't fear the senses of death, man, because death. Death is only your, your earthly tabernacle expiring, man. Your earth suit going out of style, all right? And your, 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 in your spirit, which is really who you are, you're ascending back into your source, which is your how about Shema all right? The heavenly father, okay? But with that, I hope your brothers are edified. Till the next time, Shalom.